Everyone, thanks for being with us on this Wednesday. I'm Robert Olguin. And I'm Liz DeWicky. So we've got new video released today showing the tense moments between Adonia Anna County Sheriff's deputy and a suspect in Chaparral, ultimately leading to a deputy shooting, a deputy shooting and killing him. That video was released at a news conference held by the Sheriff of Donia Anna County today. KFOX 14 News at 5's Harrison Parker live in the studio to show us why the Sheriff is defending the deputy's actions. That's right, that body cam footage shows the moments leading up to that shooting involving a sheriff's deputy in Chaparral on Monday. This includes the final moments when the suspect wielded the officer's taser. Drop it! Drop it now! Drop it! No! Drop it! What you just saw was a Dona Ana County Sheriff's deputy demanding Adrian Jose Guzman drop the taser he had taken from the officer. Seconds later, the sheriff's deputy shot and killed Guzman. Dona Ana County Sheriff Kim Stewart said he was known to the officer and the department beforehand. Uh, this is his criminal arrest history right here. So we want to show you that to show that we have certainly had prior contact with this individual. Guzman's record included 35 arrests for crimes including resisting arrest, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, battery, and disorderly conduct. The newly released footage shows Guzman repeatedly resisting arrest after being stopped in relation to a burglary. Yes. This guy, we caught, we, we saw him stealing stuff from our house, right? He's wearing some raggedy clothes. He has a shirt open, brown coat, looks oily. He's got a, a, a laptop and everything. The deputy is seen struggling to detain Guzman, first pinning him to the ground and later tasing him. But Guzman still managed to get free and get the stun gun from the officer. While the investigation is with an officer-involved task force taking over the case, Sheriff Stewart defended the deputy involved and addressed him directly. My apologies, de uh, deputy, to you and your family for this blatant misrepresentation of your actions, and I hope today we have clarified it. Thank well, there are many questions we are asking of the county sheriff's office as the investigation unfolds, but Sheriff Stewart is clearly showing she stands behind how her deputy handled this case. We'll also keep you posted as we learn more here. Reporting from the studio, Harrison Parker, KFOX 14 News at 5.